So I bought a $280 Nintendo Switch from Wish.com. Let's talk about it. All right, so clearly I already unboxed this thing. We're, we're kind of in pieces here. This is essentially a follow-up video to my unboxing video I did on my main channel. And I kind of just want to talk about this console some more. So like I said, $280 Nintendo Switch from Wish.com. Now, this thing is weird. Like it, it, it actually turned out, turned out pretty good, but it's just, it's weird. So first of all, the reason it was $280 is because it is the special edition Mario Nintendo Switch, which I, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, it's uh, basically just red and some blue accents. But like, honestly, I think the red is a bit too much. You have the red dock and you have the red console. In this case, just the back right now. And then the Joy-Cons are also red. So it's just like red on red on red. The only thing that's blue is the little, you know, Joy-Con holder here. You also have a uh, kind of cool carrying case that's special to this, this edition. So why was this console $280? So first of all, uh, I will say that $280, I think, was a fair price for this console. I wouldn't call it a deal. wouldn't call it overpriced. I think it's actually market value. So uh, this was a complete in box, special edition Mario console. Uh, almost complete in box, actually. There were no manuals. They included this little uh, slip here where you can scan it and go see the Nintendo manual. I think this console originally came with manuals, so that's the only thing missing. But where it gets weird is the fact that I had no idea what I was getting. I, I went to Wish.com. I found this uh, Mario Edition Nintendo Switch listed for sale for 280 They didn't say if it came with the original box and everything. Didn't say if it was console only. The description was useless. It was just like a generic description you'd see on Best Buy or Target or something kind of describing the console. Like, yes, we have a we have a cool screen here with some Joy-Cons and they're awesome. They don't tell you what exactly comes with it though and the condition. Uh, I got kind of lucky that this was supposedly in grade A condition, as you can see here. It says grade A, fully functional. These are all things that were not told to me before I bought the console, so I kind of just got lucky. And uh, the weirdest thing is it's called a used console, but as you probably could tell by now, I had this console open and they did some sort of refurbishment to it. So, it, which is weird because the seller I bought from on Wish has other consoles that they do call refurbished. So if this console was refurbished, why would they call it used? I, it's just like weird inconsistencies that don't make sense. Like like it's, it's called used instead of refurbished. I don't know what comes with it, but essentially uh, when I took this console out, it had a screen film like on the screen. And by default, uh, Nintendo Switches don't have a screen film on, on them. They're just like in a in a little baggie similar to this. They put the you know the, the the screen inside of there. You pull it out, and it's just like this. But when I pulled this one out, it had a tight screen on it that I had to peel off, and that's not typical on a Nintendo Switch unless the screen has been replaced. So obviously that kind of told me the screen had been replaced. So what I did is I opened this up, looked on the inside, and tried to find any other evidence of screen being replaced. And pretty much all I could find was the fact that. The digitizer ribbon cable looks a little bit different than what I think it should look like from OEM. So I watched a bunch of videos online, saw pictures and stuff, and I think the OEM ribbon cable has some white lettering here, whereas this one is just kind of black with some, it's like black on black. It's got some black lettering on the black ribbon cable. So I'm like, I don't know, 85, 95% sure this thing, this screen has been replaced. Now, not a big deal. It looks fine and it works. Nothing's wrong with it. It's just weird. I mean, like, frankly, it just it's just weird. I don't know how else to describe it. And another weird thing is like, I don't, understand why these people are selling on wish so i i think this seller is in the u.s at least some of their items ship from the u.s like i've bought and i've purchased multiple things from them and some of them come in like a few days which is obviously not coming from china unless they're paying for crazy exp expedited shipping uh, so they're shipping from somewhere in the u.s so it just doesn't make sense to me that a, a u.s seller be selling on wish maybe that's a small market that nobody else is in so they're taking advantage of that maybe i'd I don't know, I just find it weird. And actually the weirdest part that I haven't talked about yet is the fact that this screen was replaced, but everything else about this bundle is perfect. Like only other thing that's kind of bad about this is the box is a little bit beat up. It's nothing crazy, but it's it's a bit beat up. Everything else is like perfect though. Let me, let me just kind of show you some examples. So here's the dock right here. I don't see a single scratch or scuff on the front. Same with the back. If we look around the ports, they also kind of hard to tell here, but like I don't see any scratches or scuffs around these ports, which is pretty much impossible not to have those on a Switch. And then looking at the Joy-Cons, like these look like they've never been touched or just very rarely because I just, there's just no blemishes on them at all. And even these cords, like the, the HDMI cable and the power cable look like they've never even been taken out. Like I, I actually took the power cable out myself, but before that it looked like it had never been touched. It even got the same, the, the regular uh, zip ties here, not zip tie, twist tie. This looked like it had never been opened before. It looks perfect, pristine. So it's just, it just doesn't make sense to me why this console needed a screen repair, but everything else is perfect. Unless they somehow got, uh, I mean, I mean, it would maybe make sense to me if it was a normal Switch. Like, let's say you get a, a normal Switch, not a Mario Edition, and you got a console that's 
uh, you got a, a bundle that's missing a console for whatever reason, but you have another console that's been repaired, you can kind of just throw it in the bundle and boom, there you go. So that that is plausible for this. Maybe this this specific console was in another bundle and it was, or just by itself in this, this bundle needed a console. I don't know, but that's just weird because it's a special edition. There's not many of these out there. So the chances that they had a repaired Mario edition switch to pair with the uh, Mario edition bundle, the rest of the bundle, it's just like, I feel like that's a, a very low chance. So it kind of just brings me back to the point of why did they have to replace this screen on a console that's never been used? So I don't know, it's all speculation. It really doesn't matter. It's just interesting to think about. And it just kind of goes with the inconsistencies of Wish. The fact they didn't tell me what I was getting, it's called used, not refurbished. Uh, I don't know, just weird stuff, man. Uh, I actually want to show you the listing now. And so you can get a better idea of what I'm, what I'm talking about. All right, so we're over here on my computer now. And as you can see, I have wish.com pulled up. And I have the exact listing that I bought from it. It's sold out now because there was only one available when I bought it. So as you can see, Nintendo Switch Mario Red and Blue Edition. And it's it shows these pictures. So like, if you look at these pictures, I guess you can assume it comes with all of this. But it, it it's just generic pictures. It's not like it's showing real pictures. So it's kind of confusing whether it actually includes all that or not. Then you go down here to description and it says, the DLC, trials of subscriptions, and bundled games may or may not be included, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then it just talks generic generic stuff. S the Switch system takes inspiration from Mario, blah, 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 blah. Then it talks about all this stuff. But, like, it, it doesn't specifically say that, yes, this specific bundle includes these things. It just, like, I guess maybe you can assume that from the description, but it's just, it's a generic description that you see on any website. And it's not a brand new console, so, like, actually, that's another thing to point out. It doesn't even say used. So, like, I guess you could assume this is... A brand new console, actually, huh? That's something I'm just now thinking about, and I haven't thought about that before. Maybe they were considering this brand new, but it's it's not brand new though, because they replaced the screen. So that that even adds even more to the the weirdness about this. It wasn't called used, wasn't called refurbished, wasn't called brand new. It's just a mystery. So it's like this thing was almost brand new, except for the fact that the Switch had the screen replaced. So I. I don't know what's going on here, guys. It's just such a, a weird combination. Honestly, it, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter because it came in good condition. It works and it's a, a solid price for what I bought. It's just a, a, a weird scenario. I've said weird in this video like 20 times. I'm going to say it again. Weird, weird, weird. But yeah, guys, I know I'm saying weird a lot in this video, but it's just, I don't know how to describe it. It's just weird. Let me know down below how many times I say weird in this video. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and um, weird.